Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry. In this video, I'm going to show you the books I got at St. Vincent de Paul Society this week. I'll start here on this side with these. I got What Pope Francis Really Said by Tom Hoops. And The Shadow of His Wings, The True Story of Father Grarian Goldman, OFM, Abridged Edition. Special Lighthouse Catholic Media Edition, published by Ignatius. Uh, I got three um, classic books. I got Brave New World by Huxley. It's Walter Scott's Old, Old Morality. And The Persian Wars by Herodotus. Looks like they, St. Vincent de Paul got it from Half Price Books. That's interesting. I got this Teacher's Reference Edition Bible, which I still have to go through and figure out what translation it is. But it's got a family record saying the table of contents of the uh, helps in the beginning. Um, an outline of the Apostle Paul's life. Stuff about Galilee. Looks like it has like a Bible dictionary in here. Okay, here we go. I may have to pull this off camera and find out what translation this is. This is the King James Version. Hold on. There's something I want to see a second. Sorry to pull it off camera. I'll keep talking while I try to turn this one page. Here we go. The Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testaments translated out of the original tongues with the former translations diligently compared. Authorized King James Version self-pronouncing reference edition National Bible Publishing Philadelphia PA. And then here's the thing about the King James Version. This is a, a 1966 Teacher's Edition Bible. And it's laid out much like um, a long primer. It's got the center column references and uh, it's got the chapter introductions and stuff. I'll have to go through this more to find out more about the text they use, but that's interesting. All right. St. Augustine's Confessions. Into his likeness be transformed as a disciple of Christ by Edward Street. I got a couple other books by him. Uh, this one is still in the shrink wrap. It's called Faith That Dares to Speak by Donald Cozens, author of The Changing Face of the Priesthood. And then here's the back. Uh, the ISBN's right here. I'll eventually have to do a video on that since it's shrink wrapped. Let's see, I'll finish up this column here. Sorry, I had to go off camera a second. Um, Matthew Kelly, Rediscover Advent. Beautiful Hope, Finding Hope Every Day in a Broken World. And here's some of the contributors to it. And then here's the ISBN. And then this book I didn't look at much. This next one is called The Parables in the Gospels. And um, it's just a book on the parables um, from the New Testament that are in the Gospels. Here's what the back said. It says, Contents, Old Testament parables, 
from Ezekiel to Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay, moving on to the final pile here. This is a devotional by Catholic Book Publishing um, called Every Day is a Gift. And it appears to be inside of a plastic cover, or it has a thing where you put things in it. I don't know. But it's a devotional. Um, I know it's Catholic Book Bible, yeah, Catholic Book Publishing, because right here. I mean, there's a really neat piece of art of Jesus. All right. Hearts of Fire, Praying with Jesuits. And it's by Edward, but well, edited by Michael Harder, Society of Jesus. Okay. Sorry, it's hard to read when it's in front of the camera. Lives of the Saints You Should Know by Margaret and Matthew Bunsen. And it's a book on um, different saints. Um, this is another book by David Cozens called Freeing Celibacy, um, author of Faith That Dares to Speak and Changing Face of the Priesthood. Okay, just a few more to go. A G.K. Chesterton book called The Catholic Church and Conversion. Sorry, my back is hurting a little bit, so bending over to pull these out is not easy. Amazing Grace for the Catholic Heart, 101 Stories of Faith, Hope, and Inspiration, and Humor. Jeff Cavins, Matthew Pinto, and Patty Armstrong. I got it because of Jeff Cavins. I like his writing. And lastly, another Bible. This one is... The New Catholic Edition, Holy Bible, hardcover, and this is by Catholic Book Publishing. Oh. oh. Here's the uh, title page for those interested. And an illustration of Jesus and the publisher's title page. I think this is Catholic book published, but with a different thing here. Maybe it's a different publisher. I don't know. I thought the New Catholic. Oh, yeah. New Catholic edition. No, I don't know what translation this is. Oh, it says Confernity Dewey Reams. Okay, so this is not Catholic book publishing. It's just the New Catholic edition of the Holy Bible. Confernity Dewey, Dewey version. Um, here, I'm going to read the title page off camera because it's easier to see. Uh, New Catholic edition of the Holy Bible, the Old Testament Confernity to Dewey version with the New Confernity of Christian Doctrine Translation, the first eight books, and a new translation of the Book of Psalms from the New Latin version approved by Pope Pius XII. In New Testament, Confernity edition, a revision of the Chandler Reams version edited by Catholic scholars under the patronage of the Episcopal Committee of the Confernity of Christian Doctrine. Here. It's got an imprimatur. And if you want to pause it and read this, that'll tell you a little bit more about it. I'll go into the text to see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. It's got cross references and footnotes. You can tell the footnotes apart from the text because they're smaller. And then there's a line separating the biblical text from the cross references. And then a line 
separating the cross references from the notes. I don't see any illustrations in this, but I want to go to the New Testament and um, see if it's red letter or not. Hold on, doing it off camera should it make it easier to turn pages. And I'm gonna to go to a section where it's usually would be red if it is red letter. I'm in Luke, I'm in Mark. I'm gonna to go to Matthew chapters five through seven to um, see if it's red letter or not to make it easier. I'm almost there, just a few more pages. Chapter eight, here we go. It is black letter. And then I want to see if there's anything after the biblical text. Since this is the, uh... oh, in the, the books of the Bible, get introductions. Here's what one of the introductions looks like. So it looks like they do give you some study material in here. Um, I'm at First St. Peter, oh, the Apocalypse of the Apostle John. I'm almost the end of the apocalypse. Okay, here's the end of the apocalypse. It's got a neat piece of artwork of the Alpha and the Omega and the key row cross. Okay, now I'm gonna try and turn the page. These pages are kind of thin. Okay, it gives you the translation committee. The names of all the translators. That's cool. There's also a, uh, oh, here we go. I went by it really fast. This is um, a chronology of people in the Old Testament. Hold on. These pages aren't quite easy to turn. A chronology, chronological index of the New Testament. So there are study helps after book of Revelation, a table of references. So kind of a concordance type thing. The word you're looking up is like right here and then it shows you the verses. Let's see what else is there. A list of miracles and parables of Jesus. Here's the parables, here's the miracles. And then this is a table of the of all the epistles and gospels. Topical outline for Bible reading. Oh. So like if you want to study the Bible at home, it gives you suggestions of readings. That's pretty cool. I will have to do a, a video on this by itself. Oh, there's an index of names. That's pretty neat. And then I thought I saw something else interesting. Okay, then you got the old these style of maps that you usually find in very early um, translations from like the beginning to the middle of the 20th century so that's kind of neat um and then after the biblical text after that all that text there's a prayer for after reading scripture so would there be a prayer for before? Yep, a prayer for before reading scripture in the front. Oh, nice end pages. 
All right, I want to see if I can find what year this is. My guess is it's in the 1950s. This was published in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think I passed the page I need. Hold on. Yeah, I did. I did it again. Hold on. This is 1953. Here, I'll show you. New edition, copyright 1953. So originally it was first copyrighted 1949 was the first one. So these first three were done by Catholic Book Publishing, but this new edition was done by this particular publisher. But this was printed and bound in the USA. So that's neat. That's a cool Bible. Well, that's a take a better look at it when I get a chance. All right. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video.